Two, one. Hi everyone, I'm back with my second part. Okay, I was discussing disadvantages of uh, frequency division multiplexing. Disadvantages is like uh, if we have uh, a channel cannot use a uh, uh, that frequency bandwidth uh, with uh, frequency for 24 hours a day. So uh, mobile uh, communication in context of mobile communication, our communication only take uh, a place for a uh, few minutes at a time. So what what is happening is we are uh, uh, we, we are not us utilizing that uh, frequency very much. It has been used for uh, uh, for some minutes, but we have assigned it completely to a channel. So uh, it uh, the resources have been uh, wasted. Or, and uh, the, the scheme is also very inflexible and it also limits to the uh, uh, limits uh, the number of uh, senders and uh, uh, so we'll we'll uh, see our next technique which is time division multiplexing in uh, time division multiplexing the whole bandwidth for a certain uh, is given to an uh, sender for a certain amount of time all the sender use the whole frequency but at different points of time at one time only one user can use uh, that frequency that bandwidth Again, in uh, order to have minimum interference, we all, uh, we again use guard spaces, which now represent time gaps. Have to separate the different uh, different periods when the sender uses the medium. Okay, they ha time uh, guard spaces uh, uh, separates the uh, periods uh, when uh, different use uh, senders uses the medium. This is if we go uh, with if we try to understand this with high fill, uh, highway example, it is the uh, uh, guard spaces it is the gap between two cars. If two transmission overlap in time, this is called co channel interferences. If two transmission overlap in uh, time, then it is called co channel interference. To avoid this type of interference, precise synchronization between different senders is necessary. Okay. So uh, this is a diagrammatic representation of time di uh, division multiplexing. We, uh, every of channel have assigned a frequency for a, a different uh, time for a slot of time. Now let's see what are advantages. Advantages uh, for a receiver tuning to a standard does not just involve adjusting the frequency but involves listing at exactly the right point of time. This scheme is quite flexible as when can assign more sending time to senders with a heavy load and less to those with a low light load. Okay, let's understand this point. Okay, uh, once uh, re a receiver can uh, listen to a sender at uh, at one time. So, if a sender want to send more data than he, uh, he uh, then that that uh, sender can have a uh, more uh, a bigger time slot. And if a sender want to send less data, then he uh, then it can have uh, a smaller uh, time slot. So it is quite flexible scheme. So uh, and what uh, is disadvantages? Disadvantages uh, all senders need to precise clocks or yeah they they have they need to be a synchronization steps between senders. If one want to uh, listen to uh, uh, listen one sender want to listen, then he have to wait for time uh, time and uh, he, uh, for his time so uh, but uh, we, we can also have a combination of uh, frequency division multiplexing and time division multiplexing frequency and time division multiplexing can be combined that is a channel a ki can use a certain frequency band for a certain amount of uh, time okay uh, 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 this is combination of frequency division and time division multiplexing techniques uh, a channel can have a frequency for a a uh, fixed amount of uh, for a, a certain amount of time we again uses uh, guard spaces in both time and frequency uh, dimension the mobile phone standard gsm uses this combination of frequency and time division multiplexing for transmission between a mobile and so called uh, and, and a base station okay uh, we can see it in diagram uh, also every channel uh, have a frequency and a time also, what is advantages? Advantages of this scheme is more robust. It is more robust.
okay and uh, a channel uh, may use uh, this uh, frequency for a uh, uh, less uh, period of time so more utilization and lower is the wastage of the resources and uh, um, it also provides a protection against tapping so what is a uh, disadvantages of uh, this scheme that uh, disadvantage is the same that we need an, a, a coordination between uh, different senders uh, one has to control the sequence of frequency and the time of changing to another frequency two sender will interface as soon they select the same frequency at the say, same time okay so uh, next and the final one is code division multiplexing let's like, understand what is code division multiplexing well, uh, SDM and FDM are uh, well known from early days of radio transmission. T, uh, TDM uh, is used in connection with many, uh, many applications. Code division uh, multiplexing is relatively a newer scheme in a commercial communication system. It, when it was uh, used in military application because of its uh, high, high security features. It is uh, it now features in many civil wireless transmission uh, scenarios here all uh, channels are uh, you, which uses the same uh, use the same frequency at the same time for transmission Se uh, separation is now achieved uh, by assigning a code to every uh, channel here we also use the guard spaces guard spaces are the ortho uh, guard spaces are maintained with orthogonal uh, codes we have orthogonal uh, codes Okay, uh, well, what are advantages and disadvantages of a CDM? Uh, advantages of CDM for wireless transmission is that it gives good protection against interference and tapping. Different codes have to be assigned, but code space is used compared to a frequency space. Assigning individual codes to each sender does not usually cause problem. Okay, we have different different codes and so minimum interference uh, take place and uh, and uh, uh, also utilization is high here what is uh, disadvantages is, is like it's a com complexity uh, a receiver has to know his uh, code okay uh, and uh, the channel with the user and uh, data from the background knows composed of other signals and environment noise additionally a receiver must be precisely synchronized with the transmitter to apply uh, to apply decoding correctly Okay, uh, this this is uh, the uh, disadvantages of this uh, system. Okay, and uh, thank you, thank you.